CSU 52 was a fairly natural union for me to be a part of because uh, even today our membership is probably 60 plus percent female. And uh, you know, even today it's still a struggle in some work areas to you know get female representation in those work areas even when they are qualified and, and able because it's still kind of looked down a bit sometimes. Well, you know, in some of the engineering areas particularly, it, it's still a male-dominated society. I mean, uh, some of our fellow unions in the city, I mean, e uh, Edmonton Police Service, I think, has come a long way over the last 20 years in integrating females into the service. Not to say there still aren't issues there for females in that service. Uh, Edmonton Fire, maybe not quite as progressive at this point as you would hope, but I mean, uh, those, those types of work areas seem to attract a, you know, a macho kind of bravado and uh, so, I mean, it's, it takes time. When I first started in CSU 52 in the late 70s, mid 70s, it was still, CSU 52 was still a work area where women were clerks and, you know, maybe janitors and uh, it was quite progressive to have a female lab tech even at that time. I mean, they worked as librarians and, uh, you know, the traditional female work areas basically. But, you know, I've certainly seen a significant change. And uh, as I say, though, some of the areas are still a little, a little behind, but we're hopefully catching up. Has CSU specifically addressed that in the time you've been here? Oh, yes. Have you taken initiatives to address that glass ceiling? We have taken initiatives a number of times in contract bargaining, uh, discussions with the employer uh, around uh, wage equity, uh, work equity. I mean, one of the things I realized early on, uh, I, I think a lot of businesses, and not just the city of Edmonton or any of our bargaining units, but my, my job was an environmental inspector, so I used to interact with all kinds of private industry. And the first thing I noticed was I've always thought this, the most important person in that workplace is the person you first meet. And in most businesses, the first person you meet is that receptionist at the front counter. And I was, you know, I, I came to understand later on that the perception that you get from that person that you first meet generally is a reflection of that business. If you have somebody at the counter who is knowledgeable, uh, friendly, uh, polite, professional, you probably have a company that's run that way. If you had somebody who's got a cigarette hanging out of their mouth and yeah, what do you want? Uh, when you went back to do your inspection in the actual work areas, you saw a situation that was reflective of what you saw at the front. In, 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 in the city and with CSU 52's membership, those people at the front, those, those clerical staff, and I'll say that even today, I don't think that their pay uh, is reflective of their worth in the organization. Uh, without that clerical staff, that accounting staff, those receptionists, uh, you wouldn't run an organization uh, very, very well. 